everyone, Mary at Espresso Press Design. Thank you for visiting today, October 3rd, 2024. Today we're going to make the um, shabby boho flowers and um, can't wait. I'm going to show you several ways to um, make them and a few different types of materials you can make them with and uh, it's pretty easy but they actually turn out beautifully so um, just one new product again to show this week and that's whimsical autumn and uh, colors are beautiful it's on Etsy these are JPEG I thought they might make a nice print. Um, I don't know if you're like me, but I have leaf motifs all through my house because it's one of my favorite, favorite things. So I have a lot of leaf prints and things with leaves and pottery and plates and all kinds of things like that. It's one of my favorites. So, today we're going to make these shabby boho flowers. Let me get some up here for you to see. On a piece of white paper, hopefully. I'll just use this. Um, I'm trying to find my first ones here. So you can see how they began. And these are basically made with scraps. So there we go. Very cute. I was wondering how I could make a new type of flower and they to go with the circle projects. And they kind of originated from these shabby fabric flowers. And I cleaned out this little box that's been sitting here forever. And um, I know it doesn't look like it, but I pretty much got rid of every tiny scrap in there in about, I don't know, 40 minutes, 30 minutes. Made these little shabby flowers. And then I was wondering if I could make them something like that out of paper and that's how that evolved and it also partly evolved um, originally I was using like a patterned paper for the center because I I like a pattern in the center and then I began using my boho buttons so that's how that this little project evolved and I'm going to show you two ways you can make them and well actually three ways if I remember oh and one thing I want to say um, with the buttons do your punching after your inking, trace and punch your holes after your inking. I did it reverse yesterday or Tuesday and that wasn't quite right. So you'll see it in the video and I'm going to put a disclaimer in the beginning of the description so people remember, but they turn out better if you Trace your holes and punch your holes after you've done your inking because sometimes your punch leaves a little indent and then your ink doesn't apply properly. So I'm very sorry about that, but that's what happens when you get on camera. You forget, you forget things. Okay, so what you'll need for this... Basically what I did, I'm still going through um, digitals. I took all these little 
digitals that I had a, you know, I already punched a hole in it or something, or I just had a half a piece, or I just had a few scraps, things like that. Even Christmas, like that one's partly cut out. It doesn't matter because by the time you get finished, that has a tape removed, tape removed, just um, little scraps, basically, you know, things you know you're probably not going to use for anything else. And you can also use things from magazines like this. And I did one. This one is from a magazine. And I would probably dare anyone to see that that was made from a plate of pasta. <laughs> but it was all yellow, golden colors like this. These basic, uh, very busy pictures that you can find in magazines, you can also use those. So that's what these are just scrappy boho flowers. And you'll need some circle punches. You'll need some packaging, glue, scissors, um, I have another circle that I traced and cut out of, uh, you know, like an old Tupperware sandwich container because I felt it would be helpful if I had a clear one. But originally I was just using a two inch circle like this. So my punch is one and a half inches, one inch, five eighths, and two inch. And that's a little important because what really makes these is the proportion. So, so it goes one inch, one and a half inch, two inch. So really the fringe part is only about a half an inch bigger than the medium sized circle. So it doesn't matter what size you're making. Here's one five eighths inch, one inch, and then the larger circle I traced around. That would be that one. So as long as you keep them proportional like so, you'll be good. And then I just cut my paper into strips like this. So I have a bunch of little strips ready to go. And these are magazine strips. I don't think I have enough cut. These are torn. These are cut because it was a little too difficult to get strips with that particular magazine because the pages were so flimsy. Tearing wasn't working very well, so I just cut strips. And you'll just need them to be larger than your biggest circle. And that's all you got to worry about, basically. And you'll need some glue. Then I have this to do my tiny circles. I have this to do my medium circles. And the other thing is you'll just want something different between your petals and your centers so that you have three different designs. And that's, that's another thing that makes them look as good as they do. Okay, so I have a bunch of packaging here. 
and you can go back and look at the boho buttons because I'm really not going to go over it today. But I have some packaging that was kind of brown. And then I have a variety here. And I just embossed it. Different types of packaging. Like so. And I just embossed it and then inked the one side. And that's how I'm doing my centers. Rather than doing them exactly like the boho buttons. It's this is a little faster and you get can get a bunch of nice design circles for the center of your flowers. And um, these two are debossed and this one is embossed. So it's just the different different sides of your embossing folder. So there's the embossing folder. And you can also use your scrap embosses for your centers, things like that. So that's what we'll need. And I think that's pretty much it. Oh, and a stapler. And oh dear, I'm praying. I don't have to stop this video and then I have enough staples. Meant to bring down some extra staples. So, stapler makes it much easier. But if I run out of staples, I'll be using glue. So, all you do is you gather your strips, whichever ones you want. And... I think I'll use these ones today. Hopefully I can get some of that blue in there. And what I like to do to keep things manageable is I like to put a little spot of glue. Otherwise when you get these curled papers here what happens is they just start going all over the place. So I get a little spot of glue. And all you're going to do is start making X's across your paper. And that's what gives these that look and when they start getting out of control I get my glue and I put a little dot my fast drawing glue and then you're just gonna keep making uh, X's until it's all the spaces are filled in and you've went around probably at least twice to get a um, couple layers of petals there. Like there's a spot. See that opening? And after a while, you're going to kind of lose your center a little bit, but don't worry about it because you're going to get it back. See that shifting? That's kind of what begins to happen. And I know they don't look like much now, that's for sure. But when they're done, all those multicolors help create the look of that um, flower. And I wish I had some more. I might put some green in there too <clears throat> just to make it a little different because that's kind of what makes them 
It's also nice if you have some text. So just fill in your spaces like so. I'm going to flip that over here in a minute. Oh, and you'll need a pair of decorative scissors unless you want to tear your edges. If you think you're good enough at tearing. But I used a pair of decorative scissors and I'm going to show you which ones in a minute, but any type will probably do. Okay. So there we go. That's what it kind of looks like from the back. <clears throat> then we're going to take our stapler, give that a flip, get our stapler in there to the center, and that's it. Okay. And then we are going to flip it over, take our two inch circle, like so. And that's where I made a clear one because I thought it would be helpful. And then I'm just going to trace. I'm going to get that centered on there as best I can. And I'll do it in black for your benefit. And I'm just going to trace around it. You know, I don't even have to go up to the edge. I'm going to go out just a little bit. Now that space probably could have used another petal, but that's the easier way to check and make sure you got a nice fill there. So you end up with a circle around your circle. An outline around your circle. It looks straight enough or even enough, centered enough. <clears throat> and then I took my little decorator scissors and I'm using this one which is called corkscrew. But you could use decal, you could use pinking, zigzag, whatever. And then I just went around and cut out all those little strips. Like so. There you have it, the beginnings of your shabby flower. And then I put another center, and that was a book page. And I forgot to say um, the one I started on was a double book page. So if you glue your book pages, and that's what I started on. But you can start on any doubled piece of junk paper, copy paper, whatever. And then I um, applied it to another one. This is a double copy paper. And actually I stapled it twice. So if you get um, if you get here and you didn't feel like you did your center correctly, you can correct it with this one and get it more in the center. And 
then just come get it nice and centered where you want it that looks pretty good give it another staple like that okay so that's that's that and then you take a little pair of scissors and you don't have to do this part some of these aren't fringed that's not fringed and I'll just show you you just begin curling those up a little bit you can take your finger thumb give them a roll just so you get them separated a little bit and you can stop there if you want or you can do what I'm gonna do here take your scissors and start giving them a little fringe go the whole way around I like them both ways okay there there's fringed then just fluff them up a little bit There you go. The um, scrapbook paper curls better than the um, digitals, but the digitals still curl. And then you just get your embossed. Make a nice little center. And then glue that on or you can use a patterned paper like I always like to choose it's something with a pattern for the center I don't have any more of that herring bone polka dots are a good one for a center um, somewhere I have polka dots that's a polka dot center then you just pop that on there and there you go I'm almost done and then I took my little black got a standard punch I think I think the black adds it's not there's one without I think it adds a little extra something but a little more contrast but that's up to you how you want to do your center And then, okay, there we go. So that was only about, I don't know, 15 minutes. And you have a little shabby flower. So, inevitably, someone is probably going to ask, why couldn't you just do that with circles? And I'm going to show you the difference here. These are just done with gradated size circles, and they're also cute. But what happens is you don't get the color variation. They're more flat. 
They're so cute. I'm not saying they're not cute. They're more flat and you don't get the color variation that you would. Let me find a good one here to demonstrate. That's probably, let me see. Probably this one has a lot of variation of color because all the strips are different colors. So you don't, you just don't get the variation. I'm trying to find the one we just did. That's it. Okay, that has a lot of color variation. So that would be the difference. This one is the magazine. Whereas these ones, I mean, even if you put, this one has three circles on the bottom. I suppose you could put three different types of paper, but you still, you still won't see one layer through another layer. They'll just be, it's not the same as, you know, layering all these different colors like that. It's just not the same. I hope you get the gist of that. <laughs> oh, there's, there's probably a good one with a lot of variation because it has some text. So that's how, that's the difference between the two, but you can do them either way. And I'll do a quick one here, just using circles. So, um, I just need to start with a book page. I'm trying to actually remember how I did. Yeah. Start with the center. Put that on there. Put that on a double. So it has a little, a little strength. You know, I don't want them to be too thick. Okay, you start with your medium. And then I'll just use this. And I'll get three circles. If you have a two inch punch, great. I wish I did. And I'll just quickly cut out three circles. I don't even care if it's perfect. One. So I'm gonna go I'm gonna cut that out with my decorator and I probably should have did that to start. There we go. So hope everyone's doing good. Let me get some access off here. We finally have the sun today. Thank God. I think we had about 14 days of rain. Rain and clouds. And it's getting much cooler at night. Summer is officially over. Sure was a perfect summer. But oh my goodness, my 
mind is still on those people, those poor people. And I still haven't. I don't know if it's because of the lack of roads, just a, a major difficulty of getting things in there. I mean, I've heard of the typical charities, so-called charities, that are bringing relief. But you know, when you look at the salaries of the CEOs and all that, I only donate to charities where like 95% of the money goes where I'm actually hoping it will go. And those are few and far between. So that's what I mean by that. So there's your three circles. And you're just going to center your medium-sized flower on there. Find a nice place. Give that another circle. Man, is it hot down here. That thermostat is working, but I think it's literally going crazy. I don't, I don't think it's turning off. This would be nice in the middle of winter, but <laughs> it's kind of suffocating. <clears throat> so yes, I only donate to um, I donate to the poor, but where I donate. 97% of the money goes to the poor. And that's what I try to make sure. I haven't donated to those big name funds in, let me see, 35, 40 years, 35 years. And my mom also used to work at one, so I kind of know whereof I speak. About who gets the money and who doesn't. Trust me, my mom wasn't one of them. And actually, I did work with her there for one summer. And we're just going to fringe the same way as the other one. Okay. I mean, I do get a little variation just because of the paper I chose. but it's not, they're just different. But the proportions are still the same. Okay, so there's another one. And if I thought it wasn't, um, if I, if I thought I got a white or a too light, I just spritz it with a little coffee dye. There we go. There's that one. Let me show you that. So there's the flatter version. 
if you prefer something like that for books, it's fine. Okay, so let me just show you. And then here's here's the magazine. I don't probably don't have enough to do another magazine, but there's some of the strips from that. And I just cut them out and they were the same, same proportions. And as you can see how many I made. <laughs> okay. And then there's a tiny one. And they're exactly the same. Just three different, just different size. But they're still the same proportions. Okay, let me just show you this. Let me get a smaller one. Probably this one. There it is on a little pocket. How stinking cute is that? Um, here's one on one of my envelope tab envelopes. Very cute, very cute on a pocket, whatever. Um, here they might be on a little frame, something like that. You get an orange one here. Something like that. don't have a journal here. Maybe I do. Let me see what I And the little cover. That would be pretty. Let me get let me get a better journal here. Oh. I know I had you somewhere. Let's see, which one? Do I have one with purple? Let's try that. That would be pretty on a journal. But you can do all kinds of things with those. So, okay, let me get a piece of paper here, and I hope this was explanatory. I, I'm not going to do one with the magazine, but I am going to put this in trash to treasure because you can do that with magazines or other types of paper. You can try them with book pages, different tints of book pages. Um, that would be pretty. Get a little variation of color, like if you do watercolor book pages and then combine it with coffee dyed or some tea dyed. That would be very pretty, I think. So, I have a bunch more to make because I already have these all torn. So I'll get those done at some point and then I just keep them in a little box. And there, I have plenty of boho shabby flowers. I think they're so cute, and if you want, but it was pretty much the same process, except using fabric. And I just needed something a little sturdier, so these are definitely a little thicker. But it was pretty much the same process. If you want to make them out of fabric snippets and buttons, and the proportion is not three, it's just using the uh, a larger circle and the one and a half inch circle. It's just a little different. Um, 
little different configuration. I didn't use a medium circle and a smaller circle, dot circle. So that's just, that's basically the only difference between those. But if you want a video on doing the fabric ones, we can do that too at some point. So, okay everyone, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you see the difference between the two and um, there's your boho, shabby flowers. Have a great week everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye.